it's time to dive beneath the surface and into the minds and hearts of your favorite celebrities and pop culture icons. Welcome to Up and Adam. Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Up and Adam. My name's Adam Newell. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm the guy bringing you guys all the weekly interviews and recaps from your favorite celebrities and pop culture influencers. But for those of you who do know me, you know that that's not why we're always here, right? Guys, if you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Because, well, you don't want to miss anything we have coming up. And with that, let's jump right in. But before we jump in, I have to give a huge shout out to my friends over at KickArt. Guys, they sent me some great merch, and I have to say the feeling of it, it's cozy. I know it's summertime over here in Palm Beach, Florida, all over the place, really. But honestly... I've never been so comfortable. And I also have to say this too. I kind of feel like a badass wearing this. It says nothing new department. And with today's topic, I feel like that's very on brand because there's nothing new about talking about Erica Girardi. I mean, technically there's always new information, but it's nothing new about it. The fact that we're even talking about it. So with that, let's talk about some Erica Girardi. Okay, guys, so one of the big questions looming over Erica Girardi right now is how is she going to act at the reunion, the season 11 reunion? We know that she's going to be hit with a lot of hard questions, but also is she planning on returning if they'll have her to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for season 12? Well, all of those questions are being answered, so that's good to know. And honestly, I, in my opinion, before I tell you everything that's going on, I feel like there was no way that Erica Girardi was going to walk away from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills right now anyways. It's an easy paycheck. She needs the money. She's going through a divorce. Well, that's put on hold while she's being sued for millions of dollars. Uh, I mean, I was going to say allegedly, but that's not true. She's, this is all happening before her very eyes. So it's kind of obvious that she would be wanting to return for season 12. Why wouldn't she? When everything else is being taken away from her at this very moment, at least she can continue to have that Bravo paycheck and she might be responsible for paying back a lot of money. And if that's the case, yeah, no shit. She's going to return to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Now it was talked about as to how she's going to be acting at the reunion, if she's nervous, if she's not nervous. And Apparently, she's definitely feeling it. She knows that Andy Cohen's going to have a lot of hard questions for her, but she's ready and willing to answer all of the questions that she's legally allowed to answer. Now, this whole reunion, it's going to be interesting because I feel like the whole focus is going to be Erica Girardi. And I also feel like what's going to happen, I can call it already. We're going to get a three-part reunion. And then the second part at the end is going to start going into the Erica Girardi stuff. And then on the third part, that's when we're going to get the tears and we're going to get all of the emotions and the Erica Girardi, Tom Girardi questions. And at the beginning, I feel like we're going to get all the fluff with like Crystal Kung Minkoff and Sutton Strat, Kathy Hilton and some of her hunky dory funny stuff. That's how we're going to start it, but we definitely know how we're going to end it. Now for Erica Girardi attending the reunion, this is what was said. Erica knows that she'll be expected to address everything at the reunion. And she also knows, well, she's expecting that Andy is going to go hard on her. But she's ready, and she's not afraid to talk about anything. She knows that this is going to be hard for her, but she said that she's going to put on her big girl pants and make it through it. She said, well, they said that she's tough, and she will make it through it. Which, honestly, at the end of the day, yeah, she'll definitely make it through it, but it doesn't make it easier. I mean, Andy Cohen is going to have so many hard-hitting questions, and I'm sure he's going to ask about the client's funds, how the investigation is going. Ronald Richards, the lawyer who's tweeting about the case, even though he was brought on by the trustees. And we've had Ronald Richards on our channel twice. I think that he's very informative and he, well, his tweets, they keep us up to date. Not to mention, I have to give him credit on this. He said this on my channel before, but when he comes on or when he starts tweeting, he always attaches court documents. So it's not like he's blindly just putting out these tweets and saying, you know, Erica is about to get sued for this, or this is happening with Jin Shaw. He always attaches the proof, which makes you sort of cringe, but it feels like it's reliable source. I, I mean, uh, that's, that's all I have to say about that. And the tweets aren't stopping. So if you're not a follower on Twitter of Ronald Richards, I think maybe you should get on that. The source also added that most of the ladies will likely have Erica's back and they've been very supportive of her so far, so they wouldn't think that any of this would change. Now, 
at the reunion and even watching watch what happens live andy cohen has been very straightforward and he just we can see that he's not really blaming erica for all of this that's going on with tom girardi which he shouldn't because technically she's maintaining that she didn't know anything and until it's proven that she does know something and that she's been guilty of any sort of crime which has not happened you can't just go on there and attack somebody and be like you knew let's talk about it ladies get her like we can't do that we have to give the whole platform a fair shot and opportunity for everyone to talk and not really attack because we don't get to the answers by attacking we need to kind of shut up listen and hear what she has to say because the more she says it seems like the more we're kind of finding out remember this is all unfolding before our very eyes and that's why each episode the ratings are getting better and better as the episodes are coming out because it's all unfolding we're seeing how the women were finding out in real time in their time about the widows the orphans the alleged embezzlement the sham divorce that they were calling it in the headlines we're seeing how the women are reacting to this and it's a big deal it's what we've been waiting for and it's why this season is so successful which is another reason that duh they're going to bring back erica girardi unless there was something that she was actually convicted of that i'm sure the network would have to take a step back reassess this and be like oh wait do we want this person to represent our platform but again that's yet to happen so let's move on the source also said if the show were to ask her back she'd come back and they noted on how forthcoming she's already been they said that it's been stressful for her and definitely not easy we can imagine she's getting everything from every end of the spectrum and she's not hiding anything from the show she's willing to talk about it and the source is saying that's exactly what she's doing okay now this was definitely a reach but of course this made a headline it's so silly to me because it kind of brings you back to the old tabloid like press when it would be like Paris Hilton does her own grocery shopping. Jennifer Lopez checked her own mailbox. Okay, that's stupid, right? But for Erica, she got caught walking outside in a $595 Versace robe, and she was picking up her pizza from Lucifer's Pizza. She had her hammer in her hand, and people were like, oh my gosh, look at her in this robe. She's still wearing designer clothes and yada yada. Well, the point is, she still has her clothes, right? So she still has expensive clothes because she brought this from her marriage and from things that are over the time, over the last 20 years, she's brought the stuff that she's collected that have been gifts to her, her own belongings, her purses. What is she going to leave Tom Girardi with her Hermes bags and her you know, Versace robe? No, if the trustees and the people go after her, the court goes after her in order to liquidate these things. Yeah, sure, she wouldn't have them, but that hasn't happened yet. So as of right now, she still has her clothes. So I don't think it's a big deal that she's outside in a $595 Versace robe. I don't know if it sounds tone deaf. Actually, that's a question for you guys. Do you think by her going out and wearing this robe, boasting her Cartier ring for 189000 continuing to wear her Fendi or whatever she's wearing, if it's an Hermes bag. Do you feel like this is tone deaf, especially knowing the victims are trying to get their money? Or can we see it from the side of, well, she already has this stuff. She's not going to go out and go to Walmart and buy new clothes, like $12 tank tops, and be like, look, I'm humble, but I still have all of my nice clothes at home. She's not going to do that because nobody's forcing her to. So why would she? I honestly, it makes sense that she's wearing her own clothes. I don't think this is a big deal. I don't understand. I think, yes, you know, should she speak out on the victims or for the victims? Yeah. I mean, should she give up some of her belongings in order to help pay this stuff back? Especially if she didn't know when her husband was allegedly using some of the funds that, you know, he was allegedly embezzling for her and buying her gifts, should she give those back in order to pay the victims? Yes, that's how everyone feels. But this is something that we have to wait for the courts. I, I can't with this. And I, I just, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I have so many questions and I just can't wait to see Ronald Richards said on our interview, listen, Erica Girardi, I feel like we're going to have answers in the next 90 to 100 and something days. So with that, 
I think he's going to find out where the finances have been moved to, if moved at all. I think he's going to find out what's actually going on behind the scenes, and he's going to get those answers, and they will be exposed. That's what we're all waiting for. That's the truth. All right, guys, so I've said enough about Erica Girardi as of right now. So if you haven't already, go ahead, comment below. And before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. And also, if you want to check out KickArt, then go check them out. I'm putting a link in the description. Again, so comfy, cozy. I feel like a badass. Check them out. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Check us out every Monday and Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Up and Adam.